Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As usual, it's so good to have you all here with me for another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some product empties that have been hanging out in a corner of my bathroom for a while now. I decided to hold on to these products so that I could come back here and make a video and talk with you guys about whether or not I think these products are worth repurchasing. There are a variety of products here in this box. I have hair care products, I have skincare, beauty, makeup, about everything you can imagine. So if you guys are interested in getting all the tea on these products, do I think they're worth repurchasing or are they a bust? Keep watching this video. All right guys, like I said, I'm just gonna go through these products in no particular order at all. So the very first product that I have here is this Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. This was actually sent to me, I wanna say last winter, so it took a little bit of time for us, I'm saying us, I will get to why it's us. It took a little bit of time for me to get through this product. Listen, you guys, I'm gonna be totally honest, this product did not work for me. However, I did pass it along to my husband who has naturally curly hair, but he has like a, probably like a 2B hair texture and he ended up really, really liking this product. It worked really, really well for his hair for some reason. I think because it was just like super, super stripping and for someone that doesn't really need to use a lot of oils and to hold on to a lot of product in order to achieve a style, I do think that this would be a perfect product. Basically for people that literally just wash and go, or my husband, for example, he's very low maintenance, this was awesome and ended up giving him really, really nice curls. So what might work for one may not necessarily work for someone else, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad product. So yeah, I'm on the middle with this one. I probably won't be repurchasing it, but yeah, that's my thoughts. So the next shampoo that I have here was sent to me by a brand called Alpha. Alpha Parf Milano, and this is Semi Delino. This is the Enhancing Low Shampoo. When I received this shampoo, I just kind of assumed that the low means for low porosity hair because this is a line specifically for curly natural hair girls. So I just kind of thought that that was what it insinuates. I know this is an Italian brand, but beyond that, I really don't know much about this brand. As far as the product, I enjoyed it. It had a fairly pleasant smell to it and it's a very, very clean, clean smell. So if you're into clean smells, this may be it for you. But honestly, this just wasn't like amazing to me. This isn't going to be a product that I'm necessarily going to really go for. However, there was a co-wash that was in this PR package that I really, really, really liked. So I do plan on creating an updated My Favorite Curly Hair Products video coming very, very soon. So when I do that, I will talk more about that product. But anyway, this wasn't really anything special. It wasn't really anything bad, but it just it didn't knock me off my feet or anything like that. So probably not gonna be repurchased. Okay, for whatever reason, all of my hair products are right at the top of this box, so that's just how this is gonna go down. Um, here I have this Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner. You guys, this is an OG product. Like, I love this entire line. There's not a product from this line that I've tried that I didn't like. So absolutely, I will repurchase this. I use this as a pre-poo before I shampoo. I use this as a deep conditioner if I'm low on deep conditioners. So I just really, really, really like this line. And I've even grown accustomed to the smell. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about how sort of unflattering the smell is, but over time, because I enjoyed the product so much, I ended up really kind of not having an issue with the smell and I ended up really, really liking it. So yeah, I would absolutely repurchase this product. Next, I have this Hemp Seed Nog Champa Conditioner. Guys, this is another really, really awesome all-purpose product. I absolutely love, <laughs> love, 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 love 
the smell of Nag Champa. I've talked about these products before here on my channel, I believe. So for those of you that have been following me for a while, you already know what it is, but I love this product. When I'm low on shaving cream, I use this as shaving cream because I just love the way my skin smells and feels after using this. Yeah, even though this is a hair product, I do find this very multi-purpose. I found that it really conditioned my hair nicely and I am a huge fan of hemp seed hair care products, specifically this Nag Champa line. So yeah, this is absolutely a product I would recommend and repurchase. Next, I have this Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner. This is the large size, the avocado from the avocado line. I don't know, it has avocado and Australian jojoba oil. It's another one of those awesome holy grail lines. I've been using this for many, many, many years. Like and the smell of it, I find that it is very, very conditioning, has a lot of slip, so it's really good for curly girls on a budget. These products are super affordable and very, very effective. So I would absolutely repurchase this so product. Next I have this John Frieda Frizz Ease Extra Strength Serum. This is another one of those holy grail old school curly hair products and lines that I really, really like. I love the scent of almost all of the products that I have tried from this line. This product is no exception. It's very, very concentrated and very, very thick and it's effective. Well, I'm a fan of this product and I would definitely be repurchasing this. I just have two more hair products that I'm going to be mentioning in this I video. Have this Physician's Formula Argan Oil. I think this is more of a multi-purpose argan oil. I wanna say that it's actually marketed for the skin and the face and I have used it for a variety of reasons, but Argan is one of my absolute favorite multi-purpose oils. I love it for my skin, more so for the body um, below the neck. It's a little too heavy for my face, but I love it in my hair, I love it on my skin, this and it will absolutely be one of those products that I would repurchase. I know that this particular line yeah, this had a really, really nice smell to it. It was a really nice fruity scent. So definitely a fan and I will be repurchasing this product. My last hair product that I'm gonna be talking about today, this is the Mill Creek Biotene H24. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I, <laughs> I just didn't really feel like this did anything for me. I'm not quite sure if I wasn't using it properly or what because it had more of the consistency of a super super light gel almost like a flaxseed gel I kind of used it in the parts of my hair that I felt needed the most attention that I have the most hair loss or lack thereof like I have a really huge forehead so edges are always a priority for me so I would just use this product at night in a protective style and just put it along my edges but honestly, I just didn't really feel like it did anything for me. So I want to say that this was kind of a pricey product. Don't quote me on that. I will do some research and put the exact price somewhere here. But it weren't a pricey product because I didn't really find it very effective. I don't know if this will be something that I will be repurchasing. All right, guys, we're moving on to some skincare products. First product that I have here is the Tree Hut Lemon Berry Tart Shea Sugar Scrub, you guys. I've definitely talked about these Tree Hut scrubs on my channel. I am obsessed. I love these sugar scrubs. I haven't tried a single one of these Tree Huts sugar scrubs that I didn't like, but this one in particular, this lemon blueberry tart is my personal favorite. Next, I do like the green tea and they have a turmeric and they have a really bomb coffee scrub too. Anyway, like I said, Tree Hut can do no wrong in my eyes. And this definitely is going to get repurchased. All right, so my next empty that I have here is this Softy Mo Speedy Cleansing Oil, another product that I've definitely talked about here on my channel. This is my absolute favorite makeup removing oil. It's just super bomb, very gentle, very effective. If you are like me and you wear makeup and you like to double cleanse, or even if you're not wearing makeup and you want to double cleanse, I absolutely recommend this cleansing oil. It's just really, really fantastic, very affordable. I will have it down linked down below. 
in my Amazon store, I absolutely recommend this cleansing oil, guys, especially if you're new to cleansing oil and you don't want to commit to buying a very high-priced, high-end item, I would definitely start here. So this is an absolutely yes for me. Next makeup product that I have here is going to be the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Setting Spray. So my thoughts on this setting spray is that it is bomb. It's really, really good setting spray and I would repurchase this, yes. However, <laughs> however, while it took me a really long time to hop on the Morphe setting spray bandwagon, ever since I purchased that setting spray, I have sort of preferred it to this one. I will talk more about it in maybe like a favorites product video in the future, but for me, because of the price point of this product, I'm gonna opt more for the Morphe setting spray, but this is still a great product. This was my holy grail setting spray for the longest prior to taking the plunge and trying that Morphe setting spray. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this product again. And if worse comes to worse, if Morphe ever discontinues their setting spray, you got me back, Mac. <laughs> the product that I have here is sort of more of a wellness aromatherapy product. This is a brand that I do work with. I will leave a discount code down below so you guys can check out these products for yourself if you're interested, but this is the CBD Daily Essentials Rest Easy Aromatherapy Night Cream. This contains 100 milligrams of CBD, topical CBD, and I love this product. It smells so zen and beautiful. I love just sort of botanical scented products. I like this as a perfume, as a night cream on my hands, and I just massage it into certain spots that I know hold tension and that will relieve tension and other points in my body. I'm just a really big fan of this Rest Easy Aromatherapy Night This is an absolutely yes repurchase for me. And my last product here on my empties list is going to be this Ordinary Niacinamide Serum. It took me a while to get on the Niacinamide and really the Ordinary products in general boat, but when I tell you I'm really, really, really happy that I did discover this product, this is going to be a must-have skincare product for me. Niacinamide is very much an all-purpose sort of product for hyperpigmentation all over the body, so this product just really does its thing to even out your skin tone for dark armpits, elbows, things like that. You can use niacinamide for that, but for me personally, it has helped so much in evening my skin tone and bringing down some of the natural texture that I have in my skin and yeah, just creating a nice, even, smooth, or more plump palette for makeup application and just, just bare skin wearing in life. So this Ordinary Niacinamide is a must-have product that I absolutely will be repurchasing. So guys, we have reached the end of this empties unboxing video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below whether or not you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. I always have fun talking about products and creating content like this that is more commentary and chit chat. So yeah, it just gives me a chance to get a little bit more personal with you guys. So be sure to let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you guys very, very soon in my next one. So in the meantime, take good care of yourselves. Bye.